Here at the Henry Jones Hotel, standing proudly within the beauty of Constitution Dock, you'll find much more than five-star accommodation. And that's because the Henry Jones is an art hotel, with well over 300 original pieces by some of Tasmania's leading artists. And yes, most of them are for sale. But first, let's learn a little bit more about the man himself. So Warren, can you tell us a bit about the history of the Henry Jones Art Hotel? Well, it's a very rich history, actually. We have a wonderful opportunity in this space to tell a story. Mm -hmm. It's quite unique. Um, from Hobart's original foundation, we see the whaling trade beginning here at this direct spot. But of course, everyone remembers IXL Jam, and it was yeah. Henry Jones who started working here at the age of 12, pasting the labels on <laughs> tins, not just on weekends, 60 hours a week. Really? By the age of 27, it's his company. This jam factory would eventually become the largest in the world outside of Europe and at its height it was actually the largest privately owned company in the world. It was an icon right here in the waterfront of little old Hobart town. Uh, he was directly responsible for putting Tasmania on the map. Mm -hmm. uh, you remember we were always uh, recalled as being the Apple Isle yes. throughout the 20th century. Well he was directly responsible for that. All suites and rooms feature special lighting, a lavish king or queen size bed, European style stainless steel and translucent glass bathrooms complemented by magnificent sandstone walls. Most have close harbour views, while others overlook the stunning glass atrium and reveal glimpses of the old jam factory interior. It's truly an amazing experience to discover original and unique artwork around every single corner. And to find out more, I had a chat with resident art curator, Christine Scott. Peter, what we do here at the Henry Jones is quite special. We showcase works by Tasmanian artists, both emerging and established. So people get a lovely array of the art scene here by way of the artworks that we show throughout. It's quite special. We do show only Tasmanian art. And I think it's quite special what people are talking about here in the art scene. Tasmania has a wonderful environment for nurturing artists. And we're just really happy to be part of that. So Andre, what can you expect here at Henry's Harborside Restaurant? Well, um, I guess expect uh, a nice, luxurious dining evening, uh, but also in a casual, sort of casual environment at the same time. And two styles of menus? Two styles of menus, uh, classics and evolution, uh, is what we like to call it. Uh, the classics being firm favourites within the hotel and the restaurant, and what our guests like. The evolution side is the menu that gives us a chance to play in the kitchen, keep in with modern trends, and use really nice special ingredients from Tasmania. This looks divine. What have we got here today? Um, right, starting with the entrees, we've got uh, slow-cooked ocean trout with a dill salt beetroot salad, slow-cooked uh, pork belly with sauce leeks and fennel, white anchovy, and a bacon egg dust on the front. Um, over here, we've got uh, butter poached striped trumpeter, mm -hmm. a little bit of cottagina sausage, and a nice warm sort of vegetable salad to go with that. Um, on this one over here, which is our nice rich wintry dish, beef bourguignon, redone in our way. Sounds amazing. Thank you so much, Andre. So at Henry's Harborside Restaurant, art is in the cuisine as well. 